He fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey from the rock. In this octave of the Feast of Corpus Christi, we celebrate this morning the votive Mass of the Blessed Sacrament. The Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Canon John Berry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, his word flaring like a torch. It was he who brought famine on them, and who decimated them in in his zeal. By the word of the Lord, he shut up the heavens. He also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were in your miracles, Elijah. Has any one reason to boast as you have? Rousing a corpse from death, from shale by the word of the Most High, dragging kings down in destruction, and high dignitaries from their beds, hearing reproof, bearing reproof on Sinai, and decrees of punishment on Horeb, anointing kings as avengers and prophets to succeed you, taken up in the whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses, designated in the prophecies of doom to allay God's wrath before the fury breaks to turn the hearts of fathers towards their children and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy shall they be who see you and those who have fallen asleep in love, for we too will have life. Elijah was shrouded in the whirlwind and Elisha was filled with his spirit. Throughout his life, no ruler could shake him and no one could subdue him. No task was too hard for him, and even in death his body prophesied. In his lifetime he performed wonders, and in death his works were marvellous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let many coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment his throne justice and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth, the skies proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods, all you spirits worship him. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In your prayers, do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, gathered in the grace of God to worship him, let us turn to him now in humble prayer. That all of us may grow in a deep faith, appreciation and adoration of the most blessed sacrament of the altar. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we prepare to celebrate tomorrow the great solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, let us pray that all of God's children may be drawn into the love of the heart of the incarnate Word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, for those who will die this day, that they may experience the grace of conversion from their sins and the mercy of the Heavenly Father. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those in any particular need at this time, especially those who have asked our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, may our petitions rise up before you and what we place before your throne of grace, grant us through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant to your church, O Lord, we pray the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, in the offerings we here present, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the altar of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore all creatures on heaven, in heaven and earth sing a new song of creation. As with all the hosts of angels, we cry out with one voice as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by his death, you willed to reconcile us to yourself. 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility and devotion with which your Most Holy Mother received you, with the spirit and fervour of the saints.
Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. Let us pray. God, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The church here is open each day between 11 and 1 p.m. for private prayer, for private visits. This evening there's the Chaplet of Divine Mercy and the Litany of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which prepares us very nicely for the feast tomorrow, the great solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Tomorrow the Mass is at the same time, 9 o'clock, and in the evening tomorrow there's a holy hour, at seven o'clock, concluding with benediction. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this vale of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Our most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us.